The Striker is a family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles derived from the Canadian LAV-3. Striker vehicles are produced by General Dynamics Land Systems for the United States Army. It has four-wheel drive and can be switched to all-wheel drive on all eight wheels. The vehicle is named for two unrelated U.S. soldiers who posthumously received the Medal of Honor, Private First Class Stuart S. Stryker, who died in World War II, and Specialist Four Robert F. Stryker, who died in the Vietnam War. In October 1999, General Eric Shinseki, then U.S. Army Chief of Staff, outlined a transformation plan for the Army that would allow it to adapt to post Cold War conditions. The plan, named Objective Force, would have the Army adopt a flexible doctrine that would allow it to deploy quickly, and be equipped for a variety of operations. An early phase of the plan called for the introduction of an interim armored vehicle, which was intended to fill the capability gap between heavier and heavily armed, but not easily deployable, vehicles, such as the M2 Bradley, and easily deployable vehicles that are lightly armed and protected, such as the Humvee. It was called the Interim Armored Vehicle because it was initially supposed to be a temporary measure until light air mobile vehicles from the future combat systems manned ground vehicles program came online, none of which did before the program was cancelled. Nearly a year and a half behind schedule, the General Motors General Dynamics team was awarded the $8 billion contract in November 2000 to produce 2,131 vehicles of a variant of the Canadian LAV-3 for equipping six rapid deployment brigade combat teams by 2008. United Defence protested the contract award in December, saying their proposal cost less than half that of General Motors General Dynamics. The General Accounting Office rejected the protest in April 2001. U.S. Assistant Secretary of the Army Paul J. Hopper called the IAV the best off-the-shelf equipment available in the world in this class, though many in the Army openly wondered whether the vehicles were underclassed compared to the vehicles they might face in battle. On 27 February 2002, the Army formally renamed the interim armored vehicle the Striker. The Striker is based on the LAV-3 light armored vehicle, which in turn was based on the LAV-25 series. The vehicle comes in several variants with a common engine, transmission, hydraulics, wheels, tires, differentials and transfer case. The M1130 Command Vehicle and M1133 Medical Evacuation Vehicle have an air conditioning unit mounted on the back. The medical vehicle also has a higher capacity generator. A recent upgrade program provided a field retrofit kit to add air conditioning units to all variants, and production started in 2005 on the mobile gun system mounting an overhead General Dynamics Land System's 105mm automatic gun called the M1128 Mobile Gun System. For its power plant the Striker uses a Caterpillar diesel engine common in U.S. Army medium lift trucks, eliminating additional training for maintenance crews and allowing the use of common parts. Because of obsolescence concerns, the Caterpillar 3126 engine was recently replaced by a Caterpillar C7 engine and the Allison 3200 SP transmission. Extensive computer support helps soldiers fight the enemy while reducing friendly fire incidents. Each vehicle can track friendly vehicles in the field as well as detected enemies. The driver and the vehicle commander, who also serves as the gunner, have periscopes that allow them to see outside the vehicle without exposing themselves to outside dangers. The vehicle commander also has access to a day-night thermal imaging camera which allows the vehicle commander to see what the driver sees. The vehicle commander has almost a 360 degree field of vision, the driver, a little more than 90 degrees. The striker's thermal sights can see out to 7,800 feet, compared to 330 feet for night vision sights used by dismounted soldiers. This capability allows the vehicle to warn dismounted soldiers of threats which lie beyond the range of their night vision sights. The striker's hull is constructed from high hardness steel which offers a basic level of protection against 14.5mm rounds on the front lock, and all-around protection against 7.62mm ammunition. 
In addition to this, strikers are also equipped with bolt-on ceramic armor which offers all-around protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing ammunition, and artillery fragments from 155mm rounds. The striker also incorporates an automatic fire extinguishing system with sensors in the engine and troop compartments that activate one or more halon fire bottles, which can also be activated by the driver, externally mounted fuel tanks, and a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear warfare system which will keep the crew compartment airtight and positively pressurized. Reports from military personnel and analysts state that the striker is superior to other light military vehicles regarding survivability against IEDs. With the exception of some specialized variants, the primary armament of the striker is a Protector M151 remote weapon station with a 12.7mm M2 machine gun, 7.62mm M240B machine gun, or 40mm Mark 19 grenade launcher. The choice of armament was driven by many factors. The U.S. Army wanted a vehicle that could rapidly transport and protect infantry to and around battlefields. In September 2017, Raytheon fired Stinger missiles it had integrated into a striker-mounted common remotely operated weapon station to intercept airborne targets in a demonstration, turning the vehicle into a short-range air defense system. The Army is considering the capability and if selected could be rapidly fielded within two years. In August 2018, 86 strikers began fielding with a common remotely operated weapon station turret adapted to be able to fit a Javelin anti-tank missile tube, allowing the vehicle to fire the weapon instead of needing dismounted troops to use it. Throughout its years in service, the striker has undergone various survivability upgrades and received kit applications designed to improve the vehicle's ability to withstand attacks. The striker vehicle, combat proven in Iraq and Afghanistan, has now logged more than 27 million combat miles with operational readiness rates greater than 96%. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check back for our next video.